now let's discuss about how we can avoid conditionals uh, in our PHP code. So it is one of the uh, guidelines to write a clean PHP code. So uh, in this video we'll see how we can implement uh, polymorphism to avoid uh, conditionals like checking if what is the type of plane then this and something like that. So I have a better example uh, for that. Uh, let's go to sublime so here I have a laptop class and uh, so the main goal here is to calculate the uh, battery life for different kind of uh, laptop so the basic code will be uh, checking the type of the co uh, laptop so we are injecting it while constructing so type will be available here and we are checking the type so if it is Dell then some code to calculate the battery life for Dell and similarly for Acer any or any other laptop. So this will be the uh, basic code with conditionals like this. And all the dependent function will be defined in this laptop class. So in order to calculate laptop, uh, we'll ins instantiate the class, uh, whichever the kind of laptop we are trying to calculate the battery life of. So we instantiate it on uh, the Dell laptop by passing the type and then calculate the battery life of it. So basically this code uh, will go in your controller, in your Laravel code. So if you have some controller where you need to show the battery life in page, so you'll have this uh, variable Dell control, uh, Dell, sorry, this, this should go into uh, battery life like so and uh, you will pass this to your view so some view battery life so this whole thing will go inside some controller like some method or some laptop com uh, compare controller and inside so inside so you'll display uh, you'll write this code Sorry, that is class. So let's revert it back to where we were. Okay. So if you echo this. Okay, so let's uh, check this in terminal. Let's execute this uh, file. So which is laptop.psp. So you get a uh, 90. So for Dell laptop, it will calculate that. Let's check for Lenovo. You get 55. So uh, basically, this will be the code uh, for calculating, uh, for checking the type of uh, any variable, and then yeah, using this conditional to decide uh, which function to execute to calculate the battery life or whatever the function will be. So uh, I will show you. Uh, better reusable method uh, for large project that will be quite helpful so uh, the this is totally fine this is not a uh, bad code uh, but uh, if you need to add some more laptops in future you need to put it here and then again repeat and uh, you also need some different logic for different kind of laptops so that will be not uh, quite maintainable in future so uh, let me show you a maintainable code uh, which will do exactly same thing which is calculating battery life for different kind of laptop so i have written uh, that code already here inside index.php so the basic uh, idea will be creating the interface uh, for laptop for any kind of laptop so which should have the function get uh, battery life this method should be present on any uh, kind of laptop that, uh, that implements uh, this interface. So basically this will go on separate file, this class will go on separate file, this as well. So for now I'm writing it on uh, one file, just for a demo. Okay. So now we created another class Dell which implements this laptop interface. So since we implement that interface, we need to define this uh, method inside this class. So currently I'm just returning uh, some counts so for example let's say 10 hours okay 20 hours 
so basically here will be some code uh, which you can define here and similar uh, similarly you can uh, add different class for different uh, kind of laptop so let's add that so let's say for Lenovo get fat live so let's say 10 hours and now uh, we need to execute these function to calculate battery life somewhere in your controller so I created this laptop compare controller inside the soof method uh, we are accepting uh, this dependency so uh, we are accepting the type of laptop or this laptop interface class and what we are doing here is uh, battery life will be calculated by this get battery life method so we call this get battery life method on this variable so actually this will be not variable this will be the class any of these class Lenovo Dell so since each class is impl uh, has implemented this laptop interface so we can easily call uh, that get battery life here so we don't need to worry about if this function exists or not because it implements that interface and let's uh, execute this fun uh, function to show uh, the uh, battery life so currently these are just class we we haven't called them anywhere so here we call that uh, so currently I'm echoing it so in Laravel uh, application you will do uh, you will store this in some variable and then pass it to view any of your blade uh, view files okay so I instantiated this class uh, new laptop compare controller also again in Laravel you don't need to instantiate like this uh, so uh, Laravel will do this thing behind the scenes so this is uh, plain PSP so new laptop compare controller and I'm calling this show method and show method accepts uh, the instance of laptop so we need to pass the instance of laptop not just a string we cannot pass a string like Dell like we did here Dell Lenovo whatever okay so we, we pass that class uh, whichever class we want to uh, display battery life for and then so method will uh, automatically return that battery life so let's execute that function so that will be index okay we got 20 if you see here we got 20 okay so this is uh, basically the core idea so in order to uh, decide uh, which uh, which class to call so currently I've just hard-coded this new Dell here so uh, this might be the variable coming from uh, your form so user wants to know the battery life for some kind of level so you provide the select field where there is uh, like uh, a string like Dell Acer or something like that so uh, uh, so the laptop name so this will be coming from uh, the form from the request which uh, user selected in form and submitted that data so currently let's say uh, the laptop name is something like Dell to make it dynamic what we can do is uh, in place of this we can define a variable like laptop class and that class will be like this so laptop class will be the uppercase first letter of letter name so it will be Dell and it will be dynamic so that's it so it will work let's check this out okay there we go so uh, now it is dynamic we don't need to uh, do check like this uh, to decide type it will automatically decide it here and the uh, 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 code to uh, calculate the battery life will be defined inside each class of laptop so for Dell it will be inside Dell so we don't need to check for uh, which function to execute for which kind of laptop so also uh, it uh, in future if you want to add uh, some new laptop or some new laptop uh, launches in market and you want to calculate the battery life for that as well you don't need to do anything to existing code you just need to add this file this class uh, new file with this class and that's it 
so this is about uh, about writing the clean code by avoiding some conditionals and using the interface and polymorphism so i will see you in the next video bye